Behind me, you can see our fourth CH-47 that's going through heavy maintenance and uh, tank installation prior to getting ready for this summer for going out to fight fire. The CH-47Ds that we've been able to procure with our partner Unical and convert into helitankers are the largest helicopter that is manufactured in North America. They're the largest helicopter in the U.S. Forest Service fire arsenal fleet. And with our tank, which is the RADS-L, leveraging off of the C-130 design that we've done, the 737 design that we've done, it makes for a superior tanked firefighting helicopter. The flow rate is superior to anything else out in the market today. The technology that we've got, we're the only tank that has a built-in touchscreen. We've got the largest retractable snorkel system that we were able to leverage off of other aircraft and it allows us to fly faster to and from the fires to maximize the aircraft speed. And then the avionics package that we're putting in these make it truly the most technologically advanced next gen tier one type one large helitanker out there. Behind me is our RADS-L upper tank hopper. So this is the largest tank in the industry at a full 3,000 US gallons. And this is designed to be modular, so it rolls in and out of the helicopter to allow it to do more than one mission. So with the tank in, it can do firefighting tank operations. You can roll the tank out, and within 20 minutes, you can put your long line back on and you can do bucket flying as well. This RADS tank system has got a lot of years of real proven uh, history with the Forest Service and fire customers around the world on the international market as well. So to bring that technology from those platforms, put it into an aircraft like this behind us, it's very robust, very reliable. The CH-47 with the RADS-L is able to both ground or hover fill. So here we've got the ground fill port, which is where the helicopter will pull into a U.S. Forest Service designated air tanker base. It will open its door up and it will fill at a rate of 500 gallons per minute, which is what their pumps put out. Typically on the very first dispatch when we're based at an air tanker base, we'll go out with a load of water or retardant. Once we're done at dropping that, we'll typically go and find the closest water source, which is where the deployable snorkel will come out. There's a lot of things that set this apart from other aircraft that you'll see on the fire line. The biggest one is probably the retractable pond snorkel. There's not any other aircraft in the Chinook community or the heavy lift helicopters that are using that system right now. That allows us a, a lot of benefits. One, it takes away any V&E or max speed restrictions we have with the aircraft. We don't have to worry about something hanging below the aircraft. That allows us to do a little more tighter maneuvering over the fire lines and really get that product and that payload down to the ground on the right spot where we want it to go every time. So most aircraft have a fixed snorkel, which, which provides some weaknesses with the, with the system, overall firefighting. A lot of the time with those platforms, you'll have to go to the fire, land in an airport nearby, have a crew get out, install that snorkel onto the aircraft and attach it, that takes time. With our system, that snorkel, that it can come up and down, it's literally just at the touch on our touchscreen controller and it can extend, extend out 21 feet in less than four seconds and retract in less than about five and a half. And it takes just over a minute, maybe a minute, minute and five seconds, minute and 10 seconds max for a full load to, to come on board the aircraft. The feature that really sets our RADS-L system apart from the rest of our competitors is this lower tank. So the lower tank spans 200 inches long. We tie into all the original airframe structure. The only thing we cut is the floor, so we don't increase any stress on the aircraft. There's no structural integrity issues with it. And this allows our system to be able to drop at a more reasonable speed and altitude compared to where competing systems, you have to drop much slower because the flow rate is so low. So when you're dropping in heavy timber, you're trying to have your water or retardant punch through the canopy, you really need a system. This was field proven from both our 737 program most recently, that's been operating for the last few years, and the C-130 tank that's been operating since the early 90s, which is widely known as the premier large air tanker system out there. Part of our CH-47 conversion and overhaul program is a brand new avionics package. So we've chosen to go with the latest and greatest Garmin equipment with digital audio control systems and synthetic vision technology to make sure that if the aircraft find itself in a situation that's less than desirable, that it gives everyone the best situational awareness. We're also the, one of the only Type 1 helicopters that has a full TCAS system, which again allows the flight crew to know which aircraft are around it. One of the unique things about Colson Aviation is the diverse fleet of aircraft that we operate. So we're the only company in the world that runs both fixed and rotary wing aircraft. We're able to provide our customers with unmatched capability when it comes to firefighting. 